everyone welcome to another video so today i'm here to show you how to use layers inside code 3d it's a very very useful tool i use it all the time especially if i'm making complete outfits and i need to put things like a t-shirt and then a jacket on top and maybe a scarf on top you know layers of clothing and also layering the pattern itself for one item so there's a few different tools that you use uh, layers with and I'll show you guys today. So if you like this video and it was helpful, please give it a like and comment down below what else you would like to see here on the channel. And also follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Discord for more content. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump to my clothes here and show you how to use the layers. As you can see here, I already have layers applied to this outfit and the way that i know that's going on is because of the green so green means that that part of the outfit you know that part of the pattern or that full item has a layer to it so how do you actually apply the layers and why would you use the layers is just like photoshop when you want something to be on top of something else you would use layers in photoshop and it's the same idea inside glow i have those what would you call it in english i don't even know ruffles on top of my skirt sewn to my skirt and i obviously need this to stay on top of the skirt if i take the layers away or even when i was trying to sew it without layers it would be a complete mess because the patterns then the fabric just kind of collides and goes inside of the skirt instead of staying on top so to apply the layers you select the pattern or you can select more than one if you like okay and on the property editor you would scroll down and there's under simulation properties you have the layers so the way it works is the first layer closer to the body is zero and then you work your way up so my ruffles are now layer one and if i was to put something else on top of the ruffles i would make it layer two and three and four and so on okay so if i was to maybe put a jacket on top of this outfit i don't know let's put this cape it's just a simple pattern before i even see Simulate, I would first of all freeze my dress and then my cape I would make the cape layer too it goes green as well I wish it was different I wish each layer would have a different color but no every single layer doesn't matter if it's one two three or four they all go green so you can't really tell after you have all the layers set, you can't really tell which one's which, which is a bit frustrating sometimes. And then now I would simulate, yeah, so it just goes on top of layers zero and layers one. And even if I take the freeze away from my dress, it would still stay on top. So yeah, so you can see here, my ruffle is still there and my cape is on top of the ruffle. And if I tried to take the layer away, let's say I make this layer zero, it still stays on top of the dress for now. But you can see that the ruffle, which is layer one, is now colliding with layer zero of the cape. So now if I make the ruffles also zero i have everything zero okay the cape will not go under the ruffles because everything now is in the same layers okay so now i'm going to delete the cape to just show you a different use of layers i'm gonna keep my ruffles as one and i'm gonna show you a different tool but with the same idea which is set sub layers and that's mainly patterns linked to other patterns it's not really about the full outfit or the full the full picture of like a t-shirt a jacket trousers is more oh the sleeves have another sleeve on top or something like that i'm just gonna copy and paste this and i don't know i'm just gonna make a small change to it cut it here somewhere or something just so we can identify as a different part i'm just gonna sew this on top of this pattern superimpose over and i'm gonna make this a different color just so it's easier to see okay that's sewing on top of that okay but let's say for some reason i want to quickly put this pattern under the other one the way i would do that i would go on set sub layer and i would select first the pattern that is going to stay on top and the pattern that is going to stay under after. So I select the pattern that I want on top and then the pattern that is going on the bottom and simulate and it quickly changes around. And now that I have those two linked, I have the simulation on, click on the plus sign and it changes around. So you can 
quickly change the layer of the pattern. They're only linked to each other. So this effect only worked between those two. This one and this one are not linked. So the layers are literally just based on those set pieces. So that's the sub layer for you. And obviously if you want to delete it, you just click on the line and delete on your keyboard and it goes away. So yeah, today's video was mainly about layers inside Code 3D and I hope it was helpful. I hope you now know how to use it. If you still have any questions, just put it down below and I'll try to answer to anyone that has any questions. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Discord for more content. And that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.